एंड वेलकम टू वन एंड ऑल आई एम मिस प्रेमल पोपट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज हीट फ्रॉम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट वन एंड दिस इज अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम टेन स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द सेकेंड मॉड्यूल विच इज नथिंग बट एनिमलस बिहेवियर ऑफ वॉटर सो लेट्स मूव ऑन विद द टॉपिक in the last module that is the first module of the chapter heat we studied the latent heat of fusion and vaporization and today we are going to study the anomalous behavior of water so what is this anomalous behavior of water here in the picture we can see the conversion of solid phase to liquid phase so this is solid it is the conversion of solid phase to liquid phase and then from liquid phase to vapor or the gaseous phase so here there is change in states of matter here the solid phase is ice liquid phase is water and the gaseous phase is water vapor so students usually when the liquid phase or when the water is turned into vapor it expands that means that means when the liquid phase is converted into gaseous phase the solution will expand why now in the liquid phase if we consider the molecules they are close to each other but when me we move on to the vapor phase when there is a transition from liquid phase to vapor phase usually the molecules are away from each other right so in the vapor phase the molecules drift away from each other and that is why there is expansion taking phase from the conversion of liquid phase to gaseous phase now we consider now this is from liquid to gaseous phase now if i consider the conversion of liquid phase to solid phase okay what will happen over here now over here the mixture will contract usually now when there is a conversion from liquid phase to solid phase it will contract why now in the liquid phase the molecules are bit away from each other as compared to solid phase the molecules in the solid phase are very compact they are very close to each other and they that is why the contraction takes place but students water shows a special and exceptional behavior now when this water is converted to gaseous phase over here when the water is converted to gaseous phase it shows a special kind of behavior let us understand which behavior it shows now if we heat water from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius now the ice is converted into water completely it has been converted to water now still we provide heat right now when we heat water from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius it contracts instead of expanding now we have seen like when there is conversion of liquid phase to vapor phase expansion will take place but over here instead of expanding it will contract okay at 4 degree celsius its volume is minimum due to contraction now what do we understand by this volume is minimum now volume is the space that a substance contains okay how much space has been occupied by a substance so over here at 4 degree celsius the volume is minimum due to the contraction contraction means coming closer that is very close to each other the molecules are close to each other it occupies a smaller space and due to this smaller space the volume is also minimum at 4 degree centigrade so when we heat water from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade it contracts and due to this contraction 
the volume is also minimum right now if the water is heated further now after this 4 degree celsius now water has reached 4 degree celsius so after this 4 degree celsius when the water is still heated further it expands it will usually expand and its volume increases okay after the 4 degree celsius the water expands and its volume increases so that means it will take the normal procedure it will go on with the normal process the behavior of water between its temperature from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius is called anomalous behavior of water so this thing that is the temperature between 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius water shows exceptional behavior and this is anomalous behavior of water what exceptional behavior is shown by the water the water will contract instead of expanding and due to the contraction the volume will also decrease so this is nothing but anomalous behavior of water if 1 kg of water is heated from 0 degree celsius and its volume is plotted as a function of temperature so basically 1 kg of water is heated from 0 degree celsius so its temperature will increase from 0 to 1 2 3 4 and so on now its volume is plotted the volume of water is plotted as a function of temperature okay and we get the graph as shown in the following figure so over here we have volume on y axis and temperature on x axis okay now the volume of 1 kg of water is plotted on y axis and the temperature in degree celsius is plotted on x axis now over here from 0 degree celsius here we can see here this is 0 okay here i am just writing 0 number so this is 0 degree celsius now from 0 degree celsius we have seen that the water will contract and due to this contraction the volume the volume over here will go on decreasing decreasing till how much decreasing till 4 degree celsius here we can see here we can see the curve i'll just mark this with curvy line this thing so here the volume decreases okay due to the contraction and after the 4 degree celsius i will mark with other color now after the 4 degree celsius the volume again it increases okay the volume will increase due to expansion here the normal expansion takes place so between the 0 to 4 degree celsius the volume decreases and this is the anomalous behavior of water so now let us understand what happens to the density so now when the temperature of water is increased from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius water contracts right now i will erase this a bit so that you all will get a clear idea okay now so basically the water contracts and due to this contraction of water the volume is decreased i'll just mark it so that you get a clear idea so over here the volume is decreased till 4 degree celsius right now the volume of water has decreased but the density increases now between this point that is from 0 to 4 degree celsius the density which i am marking with d in the graph will increase now why will the density increase the density increase because the density and the volume are inversely proportional to each other okay what do we understand by the volume the volume is the space occupied by an object so how much space has been occupied by an object that is the volume and what is the density density is the mass contained in a substance for a given volume like in that volume in that space how much mass has been contained okay so this is the difference between the density and the volume and they are always inversely proportional to each other and density tells us about the mass okay 
so that is why over here the density is decreased now studying the anomalous behavior of water using hopes apparatus we will verify this anomalous behavior of water using hopes apparatus so this is how the hopes apparatus is designed here first we will see the construction and then the procedure so what is the construction a flat bowl is attached to a cylindrical container so this we can see the whole thing which i am marking with red color this is the cylindrical container and it is attached to a flat bowl and this which i am marking with green color i am writing b on it it's a flat bowl okay there is a provision to attach thermometers above to measure temperature t2 so here a thermometer is attached to the cylinder okay which is thermometer t2 and it measures the temperature at the top and there is another thermometer which is placed at the bottom which measures the temperature t1 at the bottom of the cylinder and over here in the flat bowl water is filled in the cylindrical container so here we can see there is water so i'll just write w in this cylinder there is water and uh, a mixture of ice and salt that is known as the freezing mixture is put in the flat bowl so here we can see the freezing mixture which is placed inside the flat bowl and this freezing mixture is of ice and salt so this is nothing but the construction of hopes apparatus so there are two thermometers measuring t1 and t2 at bottom and top so there is a cylinder which has water in it there is a flat bowl attached to the cylinder which has the mixture of salt and ice and this bucket is kept over here so that when the ice melts it is used to collect the water okay what is the procedure during the study of anomalous behavior of water using hopes apparatus temperature t1 and t2 are recorded after every 30 seconds so what we have to do we have to record the temperature in the thermometers t1 and t2 after every 30 seconds okay and then we have to plot the graph so the temperatures are plotted on y axis and the time in minutes on x axis so after the measurement of the temperatures in both the thermometers we have to plot it on y axis and on x axis the time in minutes so this is about the hopes apparatus now let us understand the explanation or the observations so what are the observations of the hopes apparatus so this is the apparatus and over here the temperature we can see which is plotted on y axis okay and the time on x axis and here there are both temperatures t1 and t2 and after measurement of the temperature at every 30 seconds they have plotted and they have got both the curves so let's see how these curves are obtained the graph shows that initially both the temperatures t1 and t2 are identical so initially over here at this 12 degree centigrade at the start of this experiment both these temperatures are identical however as time passes after some time temperature t1 of the water in the lower part of the cylinder decreases fast so over here that is at the bottom of this cylinder the temperature will decrease fast that means the temperature in t1 as evident from the graph also i will take a different color red color so it's quite evident so here the temperature decrease fast and that is why there is drop in the curve while the temperature t2 of water in the upper part of the cylinder decreases comparatively slow so over here the temperature decreases comparatively slow and that is why the graph is a bit curvy it is on the top of t1 so in the thermometer t1 the temperature will decrease fast and in thermometer t2 the temperature will decrease slowly okay let's move forward however once the temperature t1 of the lower part reaches 4 degree centigrade 
now here there is the 4 degree centigrade so however when the t1 when this t1 reaches this point in the graph i am marking when this temperature in t1 reaches 4 degree centigrade what happens it remains almost stable at that temperature over here the temperature at 4 degree centigrade remains stable for some amount of time okay now t2 decreases slowly to 4 degree centigrade till that time till t1 is at 4 degree centigrade t2 will decrease slowly and will reach at per its time at 4 degree centigrade okay t1 has already reached 4 degree centigrade t2 is still reaching 4 degree centigrade now thereafter what happens when this both this temperatures when they reach 4 degree celsius that is this point what happens t2 starts changing rapidly so first t1 was changing now t2 will change rapidly and it records 0 degree first now here we can see i will mark with a different pen so over here we can see like t2 has decreased very fast in almost 32 minutes i can say right so t2 after 4 degree centigrade when it has to reach 0 degree celsius it reaches very fast okay and what happens to t1 after that the lower thermometer t1 records 0 degree centigrade temperature so after the t2 reaches 0 degree centigrade the t1 will also reach 0 degree centigrade so what happens here so over here what is happening students first we have to make sure that at the start both the temperatures are identical at the start t1 will reach 4 degree centigrade quickly and it will be constant then t2 will come slowly slowly and reach 4 degree centigrade when both are at 4 degree centigrade t2 will reach first 0 degree centigrade and that and then afterwards t1 will reach so there is a difference right so basically from the graph it is evident that t2 reaches 0 degree first and t1 will reach late so this point of intersection of the two curves shows the temperature of maximum density so this point over here this is the intersection point which i am marking with purple uh, color this is the temperature of maximum density okay so these are the observations obtained you by using the hopes apparatus so let us understand the explanation for the observations so initially the temperature of the water in the middle of the cylinder lowers due to this freezing mixture to due to this freezing mixture which is in the flat bowl the temperature in the middle of the cylinder is lower okay water has some temperature right room room temperature say but due to this freezing temperature freezing mixture the temperature in the middle of the cylinder has been lowered okay now since the temperature of the water there decreases its volume decreases we know that when the temperature or when the water is cooled down its volume decreases due to the contraction and when its volume decreases its density will increase because they are inversely proportional to each other right in the previous slides we have studied that so due to the contraction due to the decrease in volume its density increases the water with higher density moves downwards now why the water with higher density moves downwards because the object which have or the object which has more density generally tends to move downwards because of the mass okay density is nothing but the mass occupied by the volume right so due to this high density the water moves downwards so when the water moves downwards the lower thermometer t1 shows rapid fall in the temperature now this water with higher density its temperature is 
reduced okay its temperature is less so due to this the measurement of the temperature in the thermometer t1 it falls rapidly and this continues till the temperature of water becomes equal to 4 degree centigrade now this will continue till t1 reaches 4 degree centigrade why this will continue till 4 degree centigrade let us understand now so when the temperature of the water starts decreasing below 4 degree centigrade its volume increases why the volume increases we have studied in the anomalous expansion anomalous behavior of water that in between 0 to 4 degree centigrade instead of means that the object will occupy more space right and that is why its volume will increase and density will decrease so when this the temperature of the water starts decreasing below 4 degree centigrade over here in the thermometer t1 its volume now will increase and the density will decrease so what happens over here and that is why it moves in the upward direction now the density is low of this water over here over here there was water now due to the fall in the temperature below 4 degree centigrade its volume got increased and that is why its density reduced and this water which has less density it will move now upwards okay it will go in upward direction the temperature of water in upper part therefore decreases rapidly and that is why due to this movement of water in the upward direction the temperature in the thermometer t2 will decrease faster it will decrease rapidly because the water with less density it was more cooler right that is why this temperature in thermometer t2 will decrease So basically students in this anomalous behavior of water we have studied that first initially the temperature in the thermometer T1 will reduce but after some time when it reaches 4 degree centigrade the temperature in thermometer T2 will reduce right. So this is all happening because of the anomalous behavior of water which can be seen from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade. So this is a question for you all. In regions with cold climate, the aquatic plants and animals can survive even when the atmospheric temperature goes below 0 degree centigrade. So what happens over here? So during winter, the temperature of the atmosphere can fall well below 0 degree centigrade, right? During winter. So as the temperature decreases, the water at the surface of this lake and ponds starts contracting. Hence, it, its density decreases, increases, sorry. Why density increases? Because volume decreases and it goes down to the water. So the due to the increase in density, it will go to the bottom. And this process continues till the temperature of all the water in the lake falls to 4 degrees Celsius, same as the Hobbes apparatus. Now, as the water at the surface starts cooling below 4 degree centigrade, due to anomalous behavior of water, water starts expanding instead of contracting. And therefore, its density decreases and it remains at the surface of the lake. So, the temperature of the water at the surface of the lake continues to fall to 0 degree Celsius. This explanation is same as that of the Hobbes apparatus. And finally, the water at the surface is converted into ice. But the water below the layer of the ice remains at 4 degree centigrade. Why? Because the temperature at the surface or inside we can say it has not reached 0 degree centigrade. Okay. Also, ice is a bad conductor of heat. 
thus the layer of ice at the surface of the lake does not allow the transfer of heat from water to atmosphere so the temperature inside the lake does not fall below 0 degree centigrade but on the surface it falls to 0 degree centigrade and that is why it is converted into ice so and that is why the aquatic plants and animals can survive even when the atmospheric temperature goes below 0 degree centigrade and the second question is in cold regions in winter the pipes for water supply break and even roads rocks crack so what happens over here sometimes water enters into pipes or crevices of the rocks okay so in cold regions when the atmospheric pressure temperature falls below zero, 4 degree centigrade water starts expanding instead of contracting it will start expanding due to anomalous behavior and at 0 degree centigrade water is converted into ice and its volume increases there is no room in the pipes or crevices for this expansion and as a result of the tremendous pressure which is exerted on the pipes or rocks it leads to cracking and breaking up into small pieces so this is all happening because of the anomalous expansion of water and students this was all about the second module of the chapter heat which is anomalous expansion of water students thank you so much for your attention and we'll be continuing with the third module in the next video of the same chapter thank you once again